Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've just got one little envelope to open with you today so we'll be relatively short and sweet. <laughs> it took me nearly an hour opening um, the little pile that I got through the day before yesterday. I think we're getting posts every other day at the moment so uh, my postman had been laughing at me at the um, when they sent my my first 30 squares out they went off and left me to it and came back a few hours later left me putting the labels on <laughs> so i've not shown you this because it's got my address on the front and the sender's name on the back now it says that this is from jen and i can only see this this is the same jen this is jen in discord because i recognize the writing um because jen also sent me the other day something else i'll tell you about that in a minute um but we're doing the art swap but i've already had jen's art pieces beautiful art pieces so i i'm a bit confused um i know jen is a stitcher um but i couldn't i i, I couldn't take at the time that she joined i just could not take i'd had to draw a line and i couldn't take any more stitch swaps so we said we'd do the art swap so i don't know what this is so i'm gonna have to take it out here because i can't show the envelope I'll just make sure I'm not leaving anything in there. Good, it's in a it's in a brown envelope inside. So let's go to the desk and have a look. Very exciting. I'm. I'm... It feels like it feels like a stitch square. But she sent me a stitch square. So exciting. What am I? My trusty letter opener. This is, this is, whatever it is, it's a lovely surprise. Oh, look at that beautiful paper as well. <gasps> look at that. Oh, love that. I love that. I wonder where she got that. Okay. okay. I think it's more than, wow. Oh. Can't speak for a minute. Hi Annie, although, hang on, I'm just making sure there's no address on those there. Although we were just art swap partners this time round, I really wanted to send you a piece of stitchery. This small square is cut from a much larger piece of work I did over 20 years ago, wow. When I was doing work of layering fabrics and then burning and slashing into it. I believed um, Jen used to teach um, uh, text, textile art I, I don't think I'm making that up let me know Jen burning and slashing until that's my kind of thing I did a bit of burning and slashing in the boho bunting last year <laughs> before embellishing with stitching and beads I've stitched into the piece more to make it nice and crunchy I love texture and thought you might like something a bit different yeah definitely I love something a bit I always love something a bit different oh Send you much, sending you much love and a massive thank you for letting me be part of this amazing group of beautiful, kind, talented people. Love from your friend Jen. Oh. That just, ooh, that just means such. That just means such a lot to me, and I'm sure Jen won't, won't mind me saying, but um, she doesn't usually do social media at all. So she's joined our Discord group not that long ago, really our little discord community it's a free community anyone can join i will put a link below um she joined our, our, our discord community and has become such you know such a part of it i, I want to say like part of the furniture not in a rude way <laughs> um you know just just a very um active presence in the community and just such a lovely person there's just it is it's just i can't get over how it's so full of like jen says kind talented people They're, jen's a lovely per jen's just a lovely person and it's so it's so great to have her as a part of the community but she said that this was her first foray into any kind of social media at all right she's she's completely at home now <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't know um but initially she was a bit kind of oh don't know what to do first but we were all a bit like that when you first go in but it's just so lovely she she now feels so much a part of the community and she is such an important part of the community and and yeah oh. 
I'm almost afraid I'm going to go. I know I am. I'm already just at the thought of it. Oh. And she had said to me that she was thinking of, because she normally works much bigger, she was thinking of um, cutting up some larger pieces that she'd done before to turn into um, squares for, for the swap. I can feel it's crunchy. So this must be sandwiched between... Oh, it's got this piece over the top to... Yeah, so when I looked at it first, I saw two pieces of the calico and and it was quite thick. So I thought that's two pieces face to face, but I think it's one piece. That's the back of this piece. And then it's got this piece over the top. So I can do a big reveal. Ooh, these pimples are out before I've even looked at it. Oh, Let's have a look, shall we? Oh my word, look. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Oh, in a magpie's jumping around with glee at the moment. Oh, my word. Oh, I wish you could feel it. It feels thick, like almost as thick as like a like carpet. It's like it's really thick and it's flexible, but it is like Jen says, crunchy. So burning and slashing and then what did she say about it um layering fabrics then burning and slashing and then embellishing with stitch and beads just look at it do you know what it puts me mind of um especially this these kind of metallic threads running through here so it must have been like a metallic fabric that yeah she's like it's burnt away and slashed out and it puts me in mind of when you see really old pieces of heavily embroidered um, uh, clothing and, and things where they used to use um, gold thread and what have you and, and where the fabric has started to um, tear apart with, with age and you get these amazing textures and if it, oh, it just feels... I'm, I, well, I don't know how camera's not doing a bad job actually but you can't quite get the depth of the metallic like this beautiful golden part is just showing up kind of light color in the in the in the and the camera because it just reflects the light but in real life it looks even better than it does on, on camera that is fabulous i've stitched into the piece more to make it nice and crunchy <laughs> the hence that the stitching you can see on the back there I want to. I want to see the original back. Oh, look at that! Lovely kind of um, plum colour, kind of woolly woolen fabric there. Jen, I can't tell you. I'm oh, I'm thrilled to bits with that. And we will swap next time. Well, maybe I'll just send you one next time. <laughs> Send me another one if you like. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to get the camera to focus a bit, but it, whenever it, there's shiny stuff, it, it gets all confused. Oh, that's a bit better. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Jen. That's really sweet of you to, to send that. You, I'm, I'm thrilled to bits with it. And of course, it will be going into my um, treasury of stitch swaps. I'm going to do a treasury of stitch swaps, a treasury of art swaps. And then I'm going to do a separate interactive um, kind of bookstroke folder um, to put all of the cards and notes and stickers and all those things that have come with all these pieces. I've decided that's that's the way I'm going to do it. Let me just show you, while, while I got you here, seeing as that was quite a short one for me, this is the other parcel from Jen. <laughs> so I thought I'll tell you about that while we're at it. Now, can you see in the background, let me um, just go back up to the desk again, room again. Can you see just um, there, that pile of, you got blue, orange, yellow and red. That's Baylor twine, uh, which N Nikki sent me. And I didn't, she, she, I didn't realise how, I didn't even know you could get beautiful, colourful baler twine like that. So I fancy having a go at making a basket out of 
baler twine and I thought oh you, what I'll use as the base to weave the baler twine in and out of is some of that plastic strapping you know you always get it when you get something big delivered like a telly or a washing machine or or something I used to when, when I was working at shops we used to get it quite a bit on big boxes to hold everything together it's a nightmare to get rid of you can't recycle it's awful stuff really <laughs> and I thought I'd kept some just in case it ever came in handy but could I find it no no um and I thought, well, you can buy it, but I'm not going to buy it. That would go, that would defeat the object of trying to make something out of reclaimed materials if I go and buy another piece of plastic on purpose. So I put a little call out in the Discord community. Don't suppose anyone's got any of that awful plastic strapping stuff they wouldn't mind sending me. <laughs> and Jen, Jen, I got it like almost the next day or the day after that. Jen had some and she put it in the post. And this looks like just the perfect amount. I'm just going to open it up and I'll just have a look. I can't remember if she said it was white or black. It really doesn't matter. Let's, um, let's go back here again. I just put a little note in it. She was using this beautiful paper, this lovely kind of handmade looking paper. I hope it's of some use to any. <laughs> just don't let it get wrapped around your ankles. <laughs> perfect. This looks perfect. You know the stuff I mean. This stuff. It's, it's awful stuff to get rid of or whatever, you know. But it's perfect i think for what i want because it's flexible but it is it will hold its you know it's sturdy it's sturdy but it's flexible and i think i can create the base of my kind of basket bag thing um out of this and that gives me that's plenty for me to play with as well yeah absolutely perfect so now it remains to see whether i can uh, do what i what I think I can do in my head. <laughs> usually, usually, if I think I can do it in my head, I can make it happen, even if it has to change a bit along the way. These adorable little plastic bands. I think Diane might have sent me. Where did who sent me these? There was a little pack of these shaped elastic bands. It might have been Diane. I tell you what, I've been sent so many gorgeous, lovely things from people. It's it's shameful, I know, but I can't always remember who sent me what anymore blame my you know <laughs> but yeah isn't that adorable <laughs> let me see if i can band it together but i don't want to crease it i don't really want creases in it if i can help it I'll just help to hold it together or i could just put it in the bag back in the bag that jen gave me hey eh? that might make sense i'm wondering if i can get a get a close-up um of this for my thumbnail let's get my muggings out of the way a minute god it's so beautiful that isn't it, it really is well, I'm going to hold that there and see if I can get that as my thumbnail or at least part of my thumbnail. Jen, thank you. Thank you so much for the plastic strapping. <laughs> but thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful square. I love it. Absolutely love it. That was very kind of you to send to send that to me. And I will look forward to doing a, a proper swap with you next time. Um, so we will, if anybody's watching this and they're still thinking, oh, can I join in with a swap? It is getting a bit late now because the, the deadline for getting things out was the 31st of August. So it might be a bit late. But I noticed in the Facebook group just a couple of days ago, people were still arranging to swap with each other. So, you know, if you do want to join in, there's probably still time. I'll put a link to the playlist below so you can find out more about them and have a look at some more opening videos and things if you'd like to. And I will include all the other youtubers that i know of that are also opening their swaps um on video so you can check those out as well um if you know any others that i've missed do let me know because you know I, i've probably missed somebody <laughs> uh, um and if you are sharing pictures of your swaps please remember to use the hashtags hashtag stitchery swap or for the art swap hashtag art swapsters so that we can all find each other um, and also I'm going to be Tom's helping me we're going to be putting well not Tom's Tom's doing it completely he's putting together um, a kind of a um, an online gallery so that we can upload all of the images of everybody's squares so yeah please remember it will help to find them if you if you use the hashtags um, that's all let's keep it short and sweet today shall we thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that little peek at that gorgeousness um thank you again jen and um thanks everybody for watching today have a lovely day and i'll see you again really soon bye <laughs>